Hello everybody, welcome to Great Leveler Gaming. I am the Great Leveler and today we're doing another trailer reaction. Today we're reacting to the official Zula Hendrix reveal trailer of Alien. Rogue Incursion, I had to double check the title. Now, uh, we have done a trailer reaction to this already. That trailer didn't really show much. It was literally the title card with the alien kind of over a big planet. Um, but what I was excited about was the fact that this alien game is in VR. So I'm really, really excited for that because uh, Alien Isolation was such a fantastic game. It's one that I'm actually going to bring to the channel. Uh, but one of the things I felt was missing is a VR mode. Uh, and VR was around at the time it came out or was getting more mainstream by the time it was out because there weren't much of a difference between that and Resident Evil 7 and it's just something I really wish they'd go back to do or do a sequel and have that VR implement just like they have been in the latest Resident Evil games. Um, so when I heard about this one being on the VR I was really excited. Now that last gameplay trailer didn't give us much but it had me thinking that we are going to be planet side uh, so kind of like uh, Aliens uh, where we're in like, a colony. Uh, but I might be totally wrong, but uh, yeah, Zula Hendrix reveal. Now, I don't know who that is. So is that the actress playing it? Because there is an actress's face in the thumbnail. Uh, link for this full trailer is in the description down below. So check it out first if you haven't already. Or is it going to be one of the characters that we play as or meet? I don't know, but this is a minute and a half trailer. So I'm hoping we get to see some really interesting stuff. So I'm not going to... Uh, Sit here doing guesswork. Let's let's check it out. Let's find out what it's all about. So let's crack on. All right, I started watching this trailer for like ten seconds and muted my headphones somehow. So anyway, we're back. Let's do it properly. Gemini. Uh, so the first look at the alien looks okay. Somehow not as menacing as the one from Isolation. I'm not sure how. Okay, so this is going to be a shooter version, not. So much a horror version. So I'm guessing this is Zulu Hendrix. Who I'm guessing is our character. What a guess. There's no easy way to say this. I found exactly what I was looking for on Perdan. Full blown infestation. Oh. Everyone is dead. And soon, that number is going to include me. All right, that's fun. Fa having a face on VR is going to be interesting. It's in your hands now. I want you to know mm. that I never gave up. Okay, so I like that we're getting a bit of the story as well. Even after those things, not once did I bow my head. Is she undoing the welding? By the time you hear this, I will have carved my name on the surface of this planet with a smoking crater. Mm. Zula Hendrix, signing off. Well, at least I got that bit right. I understand why they've made it a action version because again that's the great thing about Alien you can switch genres from pure horror to action horror I suppose it's not complete switch but the it works really well depending on which one you want to go for uh, but I'm actually disappointed that they've gone the action route so much because uh, with the VR I want to be terrified I want kind of how we had in you know uh, Resident Evil 7 with with things chasing us and popping up in front of us quite you know menacingly uh, so I understand why they went for action even if I don't think they should have done um, but then I'd be all right with that but then I found that the aliens didn't look that good now again it's early days yet I'm sure there's plenty of time until this comes out properly um, and there's time to improve upon that but I didn't like the animation of the aliens uh, they didn't feel they didn't feel like there was any weight to them I mean that's what uh, isolation and I'm going to compare it to isolation because for me Alien Isolation is one of the best alien games ever out that's ever come out I love Alien vs Predator but that's a different whole different kettle of fish but for an alien game Alien Isolation for me is peak um, and it's just absolutely phenomenal and the alien felt menacing it felt like a threat because your guns 
pissed it off and would fend it off a little bit, but they'd not defeat it. Uh, and like when it's scurrying around in the vents, you can hear it. It's big. It's as big as a person. It's not, you know, big as a person, but light as a feather. It's a freaking unit. Uh, and so going face to face with them, they're terrifying because you just can't, you can't go face to face with them unless you're like a Claude Marine fully geared up, which I get, that's what that character is. She's fully loaded up with really powerful weapons. But, they just didn't feel like they were a, even like remotely a threat. They just, there was just no presence to them. They were just looked like cannon fodder and they shouldn't be cannon fodder. Even in an action game, they should still be terrifying. They should be coming at you. They're intelligent. They're not like as intelligent as we are, but they are intelligent enough to, you know, puzzle solve and flank and come down from odd angles, not just keep jumping in front of you. So I'm a little disappointed with that because I really, really want to like that. And I will check out for, uh, future trailers to see if it's going to change my mind. But as a first proper reveal trailer, disappointing. Uh, I also found the location was a little boring. I get it's set within the Alien universe. So the aesthetics are going to be similar. But I just felt like it's every environment I've ever seen. And again, being planet side, which that definitely felt like it was, where some outdoor locations, you know, with some interesting like rock formations where they can come and cave systems and, or, or even vegetation, which they can hide in. Let's change it up a little bit. Let's keep the aesthetic by all means, but let's add something to it. I know Alien Isolation was set in that world, but I just, I'm getting tired of seeing the same environment over and over again. I mean, I get that that's the human aesthetic, but even back when we have a certain aesthetic, you look at cars back in the 50s and cars now, they're completely different. But even in that era, there's different variations with that same aesthetic and same with things now. You, you know, we've got more curvy cars, but there's so much variation. There's nothing to say we can't have variation within the same universe, which still feels like the same universe. So I'm just getting bored of seeing the same things over and over. The, the motion detectors, the weapons, the locations, everything's the same every time. Let's, it's the future, let's make it interesting. I get you not want to change the alien design too much, but even then, let's make that then really freaking terrifying. And I just, they just stood out like sore thumbs. They just, I'm really, really annoyed at that one. But what do you guys think? Let me know down below in those comments and uh, yeah, leave a like and subscribe while you're at it. Let's get discussing if we think this is going to be worth it. I think it will be better because it's on VR. I think that would be more immersive. If this was just a normal game, straight away, I don't think we'd touch it. But as a VR title, that might be the one thing that saved it. So we'll see. Uh, anyway, I'll see you all guys in the next episode, which is coming soon. Bye.